This is as good as it gets from NASA. The helicopter that is supposedly on Mars. The helicopter that is supposedly going to shut down the level Earth, i.e. demonstrable rally, has now taken flight. Should we be worried? Let's have a look. <laughs> Grounded at first and then shows us hovering our three meters above the Martian surface and then touching back down. It's amazing, brilliant. Everyone is amazing, brilliant, was it? Um, yeah, no, it wasn't, I'm afraid. It doesn't change reality, i.e., the fact the globe's scientifically impossible. This doesn't prove in any shape or form that there's a helicopter on Mars. All this proves is the naivety of the people who work in the control room at NASA and the general public in general, who lap this nonsense up without a care in the world. They love it. They love their daily fix of heliocentric space bullshit. Super excited. <laughs> so I would... Oh, here she is, Mimi. She's talked for months about this helicopter. Bless her. I think I got what you said there, Mimi, under your four masks. You can now say that human beings have flown to a helicopter on another planet. Mm, no, you can make the claim, but you've got zero proof whatsoever, Mimi, other than some dodgy footing, footage, a bit of paper, and a naive bunch of nappy-wearing youngsters. About our right brothers. Mimi, you might want to take off those four dust masks. No one can hear you, my dear. So the image we're looking at on the screen is the image from our onboard navigation camera showing us hovering above the surface of Mars. Oh, mind blown. Mind blown. That unlocks the mysteries here and proves that standing bodies of water can display convexity upon its surface, does it? No. Scientific fact. One that destroys the globe. Oh, does this image prove that tower cranes can be dead still on a spinning ball? No, wrong again. Scientific fact that proves the globe is scientifically impossible. Every crane and pendulum on Earth. So it would seem the whole Mars mission was simply a propaganda stunt. Oh, what a surprise. How incredible. <laughs> Sorry, love. Perhaps I'm getting on a bit. I'm not excited in any shape or form by this. I don't have a bias, i.e., you know, I don't want this not to be real, or I don't want it to be real, I don't care. It's ridiculous, it's a charade, it's incredibly costly, the money could have been used elsewhere. If this is as good as it gets, then dear oh dear oh dear. And that's its shadow, right, Taryn? Yes, that's its shadow, so the onboard navigation camera points straight down, so we're seeing its shadow right now. Oh, isn't it strange that we've got a shadow and more rocks? Oh, this is such an exploration of a Martian surface. Incredible. <laughs> I can just hear Mimi in the background. This is real. This is real. It's so amazing. Bless Mimi. Mimi, it doesn't matter how many times you say it, darling. It doesn't make it so. <laughs> yeah, everyone's really... Really feeling it now. Really? I wasn't. I was feeling quite underwhelmed by it all, to be quite honest with you. And the little bits that I could hear from Mimi under her four dust masks weren't exactly all inspiring. So we've waited months and months and months, and this is as good as it gets. We're lucky enough, we're lucky if we get any footage. All we get is footage of naive nerds working themselves up into a frenzy over a couple of photos and a little bit of footage. Highly, incredibly underwhelming. This was my point all along, and yet globe believers somehow think this charade is somehow going to debunk demonstrable reality. <laughs> Wrong!